got this engine running quite reliably now. Um, both cylinders running reliably. I stuck a bit of engine oil, about a cc, a couple of teaspoons in here. Go into the crankcase to splash around. That seems to keep the compression up. I've also put more oil in the petrol, uh, which also keep, seems to keep the engine happier. Uh, the last little tweak I've done is add this bit of wood here, which stops these exhaust pipes from uh, loosening every time I run it. And you'll see they're starting to get some beautiful colours around there from the heat in the engine when it runs. Um, I still only run it fairly quick runs. There's the fuel tank up there. I think I mentioned before that fuel tank is made from an old Stirling engine that never worked. Um, uh, yep, the other parts on there that are cosmetic are this from a toilet roll holder, this from a uh, from an old floppy disk drive, this base which came from um, a door a door handle face plate. Let's put the camera in its cradle and we'll give it a wee run. Okay, we're going to put a bit of uh, petrol in using the syringe. This syringe tends to get stuck, so I'm going to oil that a little bit before I do that. But then I can actually draw the petrol in without it um, really getting stuck. Okay, so I put a little bit of oil in there. Let's me use my syringe. Yep, and we can put some petrol in. Okay. Excess from the kitchen table. Okay, this uh, I think guy. I'm making video. Uh, this little uh, tap here, the little fuel cap here. I think that little tap is off a, um, a fishing tank. You know, fish tank. Um, turn on. No, we're going to prime it first. It needs to be primed really well. Let's get that out there. Really well primed. You'd almost think it was flooded. Turn on the ignition, and that might start, or it might not. More priming needed. Great sound. I mean, fantastic sound. I'm really happy with it. These will get approximately red hot, these um, Yeah, I should have a fan running on it to keep it cool, but uh, it's going to be a really short run, so
Okay, and bubbles are going in, and that's what's uh, that's what's cut it out. Essentially, uh, I haven't fixed that tank there, and it was getting bubbles in the fuel. That's also about as much as I would like to run it. It gets nice and hot, and we don't want to overheat it. If I touch this now, uh, I'd get a nice burn off that. It gets cherry red there. Um, so very cool. Sounds beautiful. Sounds like I wanted this old box that I got given when I was a kid. The um, the clothes hanger, the wooden clothes hanger, they will come up beautifully with a bit of uh, Danish oil, and the other uh, the other parts I put on there for cosmetics. Another part of a toilet plumbing set makes a good uh, version of the original air filter housing, which is there. Uh, all in all, my word, I'm happy with this. I'm really enjoying it. The designer has said uh, he doesn't think it's perfect, maybe, but he thinks people will enjoy it, and it's an affordable price. Well, it is. I mean, who could build one with the castings like this and, uh, you know, not have it take them ages and cost heaps more than the uh, $500 US that I paid for this? So I want to say a huge thank you to that uh, Chinese, that unnamed Chinese engineer whose baby project it was, his baby project, to bring this to us. Now these will get approximately red hot.